Hey guys, ETP Duelist here, and I'm going to teach you how to play Heretic. Heretic's an OTK deck, meaning we're going to try to wipe out our opponent's life points in one turn. Now, we're either going to want to have Tefnuit in our opening hands, or a set. Tefnuit, you can special summon if your opponent controls a monster and you don't. A set, you can normal summon without tributing, but its attack will be 1,000. Now, either one of these, we, want to, we can instantly tribute for Sue. Sue's special effect is, if we control a Heretic, we could tribute it and special summon Sue from her hand right away. Tr when a Heretic monster gets tributed, it'll special summon a normal dragon type monster from the deck. So in this case, if Tefnoid or a set gets tributed, they'll special summon Watilla Dragon to the field. Watilla Dragon, all the dragons that are special summoned from a Heretic will have zero attack and defense. So right now we have a Sue who's at full power, 2200 attack, at a Watilla Dragon with zero attack and defense. So you might be wondering why we want a normal dragon type without any attack and defense. Well, that's because we can Xyz summon. We'll combine Sue and Watilla Dragon and bring out Heretic, Dra Heretic King of Atom. Sorry about the cropping, I screwed up when I first started this. Anyways, Atom's effect is we can detach the normal dragon and we can special summon a dragon from our deck, but its attack and defense will be 0-0. Zero, zero. So we can special summon Darkness Metal Dragon from the deck. We can use Darkness Metal's effects to get back a Heretic monster. So we're going to bring back the monster that we used to tribute for Sue. Now we're going to tribute again for another Sue in our hands. But if you don't have a Sue and you special summon Tefnuit at the beginning of the turn and you haven't normal summoned yet, if you have any normal vanilla like dragon that's level 6 or any uh, dragon that's level 6 in your hand, you could just do that too. And he'll still special summon another vanilla and you'll have two level 6 dragons that you can exist with again. So we're just going to assume for safety's sake that you just used Tafnuit at the beginning. We'll special summon, that, we'll special summon another suit from our hand. So this is what your field's going to look like right now. You'll have Darkness Metal Dragon, Heretic King of Atum, Sue, and Watilla Dragon. If you used um, Tefnuit and you didn't have another Sue, if you, if you normal summoned, if you tribute the Heretic you brought back for like another Watilla Dragon or something, you'll have two Watilla Dragons instead. It still works, it's just fine. Now we can exceed summon another monster using Sue and the Watilla Dragon. In this case, it's going to be Constellar Polymer Miser M7. We can use his effect, and his effect will let us bounce a monster from either player's graveyard or side of the field back to their hands, and we're going to use it on our Darkness Metal Dragon. So here's what our field will look like. For right now, we have Atom, which we used to special summon a Herotic from the, um, what we used to special summon Darkness Metal from the deck and Miser, who just uses effects. So both these monsters can't use their effects anymore. It's only once per turn. Now, uh, Guy of the Thunder Charger, we could special summon it by placing it on top of a rank 5 or 6 Xyz monster. So we can Xyz summon this instantly by placing it on top of either Miser or, uh, or um, Atom. In this case, we're going to place it over Atom. Now here's what our field looks like after we Xyz summon Thunder Charger over Atom. We're not going to Xyz summon Thunder Charger over M7. Now we can special summon Darkness Metal from our hand by banishing a dragon. So we can banish Guy the Thunder Charger, whose materials will go to the grave, and we'll have Darkness Metal Dragon. And because he got summoned again, it's reset and he's considered back to full power. Because it's a new monster. It went from your hand. You just special summoned it. It doesn't remember that you special summoned it from the deck. We can use Darkness Metal's effect to bring back a monster from the graveyard. That's a dragon type. So, I like to bring out Atom, but you can bring out Watilla and Watail Dragon. It'll be the same in the end. But I like to just go for another Thunder Charger just because it's another dragon and it's harder for an opponent to get over. Again, that's kind of to depend on what kind of Herotic deck you're playing. 2800 plus 2700 plus 2600 is 8100. If you brought out Watilla Dragon here instead, you would have 8000 exactly. 
that's game. But that's only if you attack, if your opponent has an, an open field. But we can use abilities to help us with that. Heretic Dragon of a Sioux can tribute a Heretic from our hand or field and destroy an opponent's spell or traps. So we can tribute the Tefnut in our hand for Sue's ability to destroy our spell or trap our opponent controls. And even though it was tributed from the hand, he'll still special summon a normal dragon type to our side of the field. This is Neb Fit. He can tribute someone instantly like Sue, but his ability destroys monsters. Because he's level 5, you won't be able to Xyz summon for your King of Atom. We will usually have a rank five, a level, sorry, a level five vanilla in our decks just for him, and he can make things offensive for quick one-turn kills by making Volcasaurus. Volcasaurus can destroy an opponent's monster, and they'll take damage equal to his attack, but he won't be able to attack directly. If you need to attack directly, you can always overlay for Thunder Charger. Or if we need to be defensive in case we had a bad hand or opponent put us in a tight spot. Tyrius can't be destroyed by card effects, and he can destroy one card after he attacks or is attacked. We could use draw power cards to help get out our combos. Pot of Duality is optional and only used in some Heratic decks. We could use defensive hand traps to stop ourselves from getting one turn shot like Battle Fader and Swift Scarecrow. And there's a lot of different builds of Heretic. There's Dragon Ruler Heretic, even though all the Dragon Rulers are at 1, you can still splash them in for decent effects. There's the Chaos build, which is very offensive and uses things like Tragodia, Gores, and Gustav Max to deal heavy damage quickly. There's Wing Beat of Giant Dragon builds, that will use a Wing Beat of Giant Dragons to clear all of the opponent's spell or traps. It's like playing three heavy storms. But it can also do things like you could set a Forbidden Lance, and when you bring out Darkness Metal from your deck with zero attack and defense, and use his effect to bring something back, you can play Wing Beat of Giant Dragon and return Darkness Metal to your hand that way instead of using Constellar M7. And there's the Gishki uh, Hand Loop of Heretic, which can destroy you know an opponent's hand or really, really hurt them. What deck should I do next? You guys comment below. Thanks for watching. Uh, I forgot to mention Seal of Convocation, but it lets you add a Heretic from your deck to your hand. It's a very important card, but I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory. ETP Duelist out.